Well, Israel's first nano-satellite, completely designed, developed, and assembled by an Israeli university, launched into space on Saturday night. The TAU Sat-1 took off right on time at 7.36 p.m. Israel time from the NASA launch facility in Virginia. Take a look. Five, four, three, two, one. We have engine ignition. Main engine start. And we have liftoff up and carry for NG-15 mission. The long flight facility. And we are so lucky to be joined by Professor Colin Price from the Porter School of Environment and Earth Sciences and the head of the Nano Satellite Project at Tel Aviv University. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're welcome. So what exactly is the purpose of this satellite mission and how much of an accomplishment is it that a university is behind it and an Israeli university at that? So there, there are two aspects to this. One is the scientific research and the other one is the educational side of the project. Obviously, uh, we want to educate the students and the, the future scientists in Israel who will be dealing with space engineering sciences. Um, and so having the students part of this and actually building the satellites and uh, writing the software and dealing with the communications to get the data down, um, testing the, the satellite here in our um, uh, in our clean room, which has a vacuum chamber and a thermal chamber, we have to test before it goes into space, gives our students the, the tools that they're going to need in the industry afterwards. And for us, the scientists, we're interested in actually doing science with these nanosatellites, which are very small uh, shoe size box satellites, um, about 30 centimeters long, and on each side 10 by 10 centimeters. You can hold it in your hand, only a few ki kilos in weight, and so these new satellites are actually a revolution in space that because things are becoming so small, the technology, things are becoming modular, you can actually build them in a university. Some of the parts you can even order over the internet. And uh, as you can see the picture here of our small satellite. And um, you can do all of this from your initial idea to building to launch everything within two years. And that's what we've been doing over the last two years. It's hard to believe that the device is so small you can actually hold it in the palm of your hand. Um, what kind of experiments and research will the satellite be involved in and how heavily involved will the students be in the research? So the, the research we're dealing with is related to a topic called space weather. Uh, we have weather on Earth. We know we had a big storm in Israel last week. Well, in space we also have weather. We call it space weather. And the, the storms in space originate on the sun, on the sun's surface. And when we have storms on the sun, uh, we have uh, a large amount of material, uh, energetic particles, microscopic particles, which are kind of blown out from the sun. We even call it the solar wind, as well as radiation, x-rays, ultraviolet. And when these hit the Earth's atmosphere, they can cause a lot of damage to astronauts in space, uh, to satellites. For example, the GPS satellites, if they get hit by these storms, we can actually be uh, without GPS or inaccurate GPS for a few days. And in extreme situations, they can even cause power failures at the surface. And so our satellite is actually to study these, uh, the, the local environment around the satellite at an altitude of about 400 kilometers and to measure the particles, the energy of the particles, uh, how they vary as a, look, it's a function of location, uh, with latitude as the satellites going around the Earth, the difference between day and night. And so we're interested to understand the local environment in space around the satellites to make in the future satellites safer um, and also for the safety of, of, of astronauts that will be out in, in those fairly uh, dangerous conditions. Really, really fascinating stuff. Professor, thank you so much for being with us today and good luck on your journey. We will be following it. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome.